Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maxwell DeMille talking, here to welcome you to the world-famous Cicada Club, located in beautiful downtown Los Angeles, California, America's greatest winter playground. Well, tonight, we present Richard Halpern's Hollywood Cavalcade and our 1942 Oscar party. In just a few moments, I'll be announcing the big winners of the Oscar ceremony that's taking place right now at the Grauman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard, including Best Picture, Actor, Actress, and Director. And now, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the dance floor is open, it's Richard Halpern. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Mr. DeMille. Now, here's a song from the 1935 film called Go Into Your Dance, which was originally titled Casino de Paris. All right, this is a wonderful Al Jolson film. It's like the only full-length movie where Al Jolson starred with his then-wife, Ruby Keeler. So, here's the title song, Go Into Your Dance. If you've a melancholy case of the blues, I've got a remedy for you. If you've an ounce of rhythm down in your shoes, I'll change your point of view. If you've been singing a sad and blue song, go into your dance. Until you learn how to sing a new song, go into your dance. Don't be complaining, learn how to smile. And if it's raining, dance in the rain a while. Put up your sorrow until tomorrow. Go into your dance. You can do it. Go into your dance. If you've been singing a sad and blue song, say, go into your dance. Until you learn how to sing a little new song, say, go into your dance. Don't be complaining, learn how to smile. And if it's, if it's raining, dance in the rain a while. Put off your sorrow until tomorrow. Go into your dance. You can do it. Go into your dance. Thank you, folks. Go into your dance. And I see you've done that. You've gone into your dance, right? All right, folks. Oh, you know that, uh, that song? I forgot that I forgot the name of the documentary that he'd have to get under. He'd have to get under with it. It's called Horatio's Drive from the Future, 2003. So, And here's another song. What's this one called, Randy? Right. This was the last song that the Gershwins wrote together because George Gershwin passed away during the writing of this, and Ira Gershwin, his brother, had to finish it. It's uh, from a wonderful film as well. I'll tell you that in a second. Mm -hmm. It's very clear our love is here to stay Not for a year But ever and a day The radio And the telephone And the movies that we know May just be passing fancies And in time may go but, oh, my dear, our love is here to stay. Together we're going a long, long way. In time, the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble. They're only made of clay. But our love is here to stay. It's very clear. 
our love is here to stay. Not for a year, but ever and a day. The radio and the telephone and the movies that we know may just be passing fancies and in time may go but oh my dear our love is here to stay together we're going a long long way Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay, but our love is here, it's very clear, our love is here to stay. Thank you, music lovers. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Oh, Mr. DeMille, do we have another special announcement about the Academy Awards? Ladies and gentlemen, a quick announcement. The best screenplay. Yes, the the nominated films are Wake Island, Road to Morocco, Woman of the Year, The War Against Mrs. Hadley, and One of Our Aircraft is Missing. And the best screenplay award for 1942 goes to Michael Kanan and Ring Laudner Jr. for Women of the Year. We now return you to our regularly scheduled broadcast. Thank you, sir. That was terrific. And now I do believe we have an instrumental from the, the Blue Serenaders Orchestra. What's this one called, Randy? Oh, The Lady in Red. Da, 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 da. You're gonna love this song. This is The Lady in Red. It's kind of a, you know, like this. This is this kind of dance for the game. Can you do that? You're making a face. Is it all right? I mean, did I upset you? <laughs> all right. Okay. Lady and Red, let's have it. One, two, three. Yeah, you, see? Hey, you got it. You got it perfectly. Thank you. 
That was the lady in red. There's a few ladies in red tonight. Rachel's in red, yeah. Oh, don't show me those knickers, her, her undies. Wow, good. did you see that, Maxwell? We got sin and depravity on the dance floor at this club. This is a wholesome family show, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have no knickers being displayed. Filthy. Unless they're Richard Halpern's. It's, it's all part of the show with Mr. Halpern. I've just been announced. I've just been handed a new announcement. Oh, what is it? I haven't been announced. I've been handed an announcement. The best actor of 1942. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are James Cagney for Yankee Doodle Dandy, Ronald Coleman for Random Harvest, Gary Cooper, the pride of the Yankees, Walter Pigeon for Mrs. Miniver, and Monty Woolley in The Pied Piper. The best actor of 1942, James Cagney for Yankee Doodle Dandy. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you. My mother thanks you. My father thanks you. My brother thanks you. My sister thanks you. What about you? You killing like it. You didn't get those medals from holding hands with them Nazis. That's not Cary Grant. That's the worst Cary Grant I've ever seen. Say, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one more award that's going to be presented there at the Grauman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard, and that's the best picture for 1942. We'll have those results very soon. And now, here's Richard Halburn. Thank you, Mr. DeVille. And now we're gonna bring back to the stage the amazing, the, the, the wonderful, the two-bit opera for another song. Yeah. Natalie and Ari. Come on, girls. Boom, bum, ba, boom, bum, ba, boom. And really get right on that mic. To get right in there, all right? Ooh, look at you. Hello. Oh, thanks so much for having us back. <laughs> We're just gonna sing a song this time. <laughs> you two settle down. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, we ain't used to performing in such nice places, but we're gonna sing a song at about places we usually perform in and all the dancing happy couples in the, the dancing hall for 10 cents a dance. That's right. The 
two-bit opera. Where are you guys going to perform next? Come, where are you, come on up. Where are you going to perform next? We're going to perform at the Petting Pantry on March 16th at Fado Dome. No, we've got some closets back there. Pick it up. It's a vaudeville show. All sorts of things going on. So come, come. All right. That would be great. Thank you so much, Natalie and Ari. God bless you both. The two-bit opera. Oh, yeah. And now, Mr. Demille, oh, do we have that special announcement now? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the Academy Award announcement for the Best Director, 1942. And the nominees are Michael Curtiz for Yankee Doodle Dandy, John Farrow for Wake Island, Mervyn Leroy for Random Harvest, Sam Wood for King's Row, featuring that young upstart Ronald Reagan, and William Wyler for Mrs. Miniver. And the winner of the Academy Award for Best Director for 1942 goes to William Wyler for Mrs. Miniver. And now the final announcement will be coming up in just a few moments for the Best Picture of 1942. And now, here's Richard Halpern. And say, Richard, what's coming up next here at the Hollywood Cavalcade? Well, Maxwell, we have one of your very favorite songs, uh, Dick Powell's song from uh, Gold Diggers of 1937. You, you heard a little bit of it, well, you heard a little bit of it from Two Bit Opera in the first act. You can hear the whole thing right now. It's called With Plenty of Money and You. And I'm gonna put Baby Luca in the song, all right? You'll see I shall put him in the song somewhere, all right? See if you can guess, all right? Oh, baby, what I couldn't do With plenty of money and you In spite of the worry that money brings Just a little filthy lucre Buys a lot of things And I can take it to places you'd like Go. But outside of that, I've got no use for dough. It's the root of all evil, of strife and of evil. But I'm certain, honey, that life would be sunny with plenty of money and you. What do you say, boy? Just a little baby Luca buys a lot of things And I can take it to places you'd like to go But outside of that, I've got no use for dough It's the root of all evil, of strife and upheaval But I'm certain, honey, that life could be sunny With plenty of money and your money Did you enjoy that? Thank you. Oh, wait a minute, folks. Wait a minute, folks. I think we have another announcement. Is this going to be the announcement of the best picture of the year for 1942? Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in for Outstanding Motion Picture of 1942. And of course, in 1942, there were 10 nominees. Yes, 10 nominees, yes. They were The Invaders, King's Row, The Magnificent Ambersons, Mrs. Miniver, The Pied Piper, Pride of the Yankees, Random Harvest, the, tech, the Talk of the Town, Wake Island, and Yankee Doodle Dandy. And the winner of the Most Outstanding Motion Picture of 1942 goes to Mrs. Miniver. Yes, because uh, Mrs. Miniver, a very patriotic, stirring motion picture about wartime England. And of course, coming up in just a little while, we have the Hollywood Hotshots doing a spectacular dance performance. Are they next? Yeah, 
There, well, the Hollywood hot shots are next. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, that's a little bit as promised. We would ask you all to clear the dance floor to avoid horrific collisions with the Hollywood hot shots dancers. And of course, our patriotic salute to those men and women in the armed forces. Here they are, the Hollywood hot shots performing for you. This number is called Says My Heart. Take it away, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Maxwell, weren't they amazing? They were amazing. The Hollywood Hot Shots. And don't forget to buy your war bonds. <laughs> don't forget to buy your war bonds. Available tonight at the front desk. I right, thank you. Actual size larger than reality. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things we do here at the Cicada Club is our very famous Halloween costume party. Coming up this October, I can announce to you now the theme of uh, this year's Halloween party. In the past, we've done a 1920s. We've done some very strange things. However, this year, our theme will be a shining Halloween party, which means you can come dressed as your favorite characters from the delightful motion picture, The Shining, fun for the entire family. Wow. Yes. So you can be a hotel employee. You can be 1930s. You can even be a charming animal like a bear or other fine woodland creature, yes. And here to uh, honor that fine motion picture, the closing titles had a delightful song that Mr. Richard Halpern will now render for you. All right. Thank you, Maxwell. Yes, this song is actually uh, an Al Boley song from the, the late 20s, early 30s. It's called Midnight, the Stars, and You, but you all know it from The Shining. And we dedicate this to Jeremiah. 
for his birthday, because he loves this song. Where is he, Connie? There, there you are. Yes, I thought that was you. Okay. This is just for you, and we have, like, reverb beyond belief. Where do you hear this? stars and you midnight and a rendezvous your eyes held a message tender saying I surrender all my love to you You've always been the caretaker, Mr. Torrance. <laughs> Did you like that? I hope you enjoyed it. All right, folks. Jay, that was for you, for your birthday. All right, folks. What do we have next? Yes, all right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Mr. Brad Kay back to the piano. Mr. Brad Kay, make your way to the stage. There he is. Hey, man, how are you? Good to see you, sir. Seldom better. I love that reverb. I'm going to keep it for the rest of the show. I oh, not for... <laughs> Please welcome back to the stage the San Francisco songbird, Miss Michael Sandoval. Come on, darling. Oh, she's wearing more feathers. Hello. How are you, dear? I'm... Couldn't be better. All right, you're fine. All right, you're fine. Okay, love. Take it away, love.
Thank you, Brad Kay, and thanks, boys. Thanks, Richard. Miss Michael Sandoval, the San Francisco Songbird. And where are you going to be appearing next? Let's remind the folks where you're going to be. Thanks, Richard. My next show will be at the Michael Sandoval Speakeasy at the Talking Stick in Venice, Thursday, March 29th. And we have some flyers in the back. Come say hi. All right. Good to be there. Thank you, Michael. That was beautiful. Thank you, Brad Kay. Thanks, Brad Kay. Yes, look at you. Wonderful. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring back to the stage that, that devilishly handsome heartthrob of harmony. He's also the handsome heartbreaker of harmony. Please welcome Mr. Michael Adrian. Thank you, Richard. Now, folks, I may be young, but in my experience, I've found that every person has that special someone, or possibly that someone that got away. Whether you're here with that special someone, or there is that one that got away, this is for them. It's quarter to three. No one in the place except you and me. So set them up, Joe. I've got a little story I think you should know. We're drinking, my friend, to the end. So, so make it one for my baby and one more for the road. I've got the routine, put another nickel in the machine. so bad can't you make the music easy and sad I could tell you a lot but you've gotta be true to your code so make it one for my baby I'm a kind of poet And I've got a lot of things I'd like to say And when I'm gloomy Won't you listen to me Till it's talked away Well, that's how it goes Joe, I know you're getting anxious to close. Thanks for the cheers. I hope you didn't mind my bending your ear. But this torch that I found, it's got to be drowned. Oh. 
Thank you. Mr. Randy Waltz on the piano there. You got another one, Michael? Thank you. All right. Let's hear Michael Adrian, huh? All right. Let's bring it back up. Let's get you all back on the dance floor. Singing here in front of all of you, for you, inspired me to choose this song. This is nice work if you can get it. Holding hands at midnight, neath the starry sky. Nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Strolling with the one girl, sigh and sigh after sigh. Get it, and you can get it if you try. Just imagine someone waiting at the cottage door. When two hearts become one, who could ask for anything more? Loving one who loves you, and then taking that vow. Nice work if you can get it. And if you get it, won't you tell me how? Imagine someone waiting at the cottage door. When two hearts become one, who could ask for anything more? Loving one who loves you, and then taking that vow. Nice work if you can get it, and if you get it, Orchestra. Amazing, sir. Wonderful. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Mr. Michael Adrian, the handsome heartbreaker of harmony, folks, right here making his Cicada Club singing debut. All right. Thank you, sir. You'll be in the Charleston with us, all right, shortly. Oh, Charleston. I don't, Charleston. <laughs> sure you do. Seen... Oh, Maxwell. Come up here, Maxwell. Is that, is that the beautiful Miss Christine Nelson I saw in the house? And she's got a show coming up. Should we bring her on? What do you think? Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, the lovely Christine Nelson. She'll be appearing next, next Sunday night here at the Cicada Club with the Macombo Moderns. And say, lovely Christine, what can we expect in your big show next Sunday? We can expect a big show. We have the gorgeous Jennifer Keith, the exciting Kim Lane, and myself, of course, three lovely ladies. I just called myself lovely. That's awful. But we're going to be here next Sunday night. It's going to be a wonderful show. And say, what type of music can the folks expect to uh, hear for your show? What type of music? Hot swing. Hot swing, ladies and gentlemen, by the lovely Christy Nelson, who just happens to live a block away from the Cicada Club. To all the stalkers out there, thank you for that announcement, Mr. DeMille. That's right, there's a block away, which means she's not home right now. Those of you watching this broadcast, feel free to help yourself to her jewelry, furs, and fabulous cash box. What a wonderful <laughs> man, thank you, sir. A community service for the folks living downtown. Of course, the hobos can't watch this broadcast because they don't have a television. Next Sunday, I'm gonna have this microphone for three hours. Maybe. Up there, so, you know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Oh, what a guy. That's well, not after that attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, next week, it's Richard Alpert encore of the... Oh, <laughs> that's Christine Nelson. But seriously, folks, 
Christy Nelson, the fabulous Hollywood songbird. And Christine will be expecting to see her. You, she'll be seeing you tonight about 3 a.m. Knock on her door. Say, Maxwell sent me. <laughs> yes, she'll get me and my little dog, too. And here, Mr. Richard Halpern, my own personal little dog. Bodyguard? <laughs> yes, that's right, bodyguard. Yes, my bodyguard, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Halpern, yes. Thank you, folks. All right, folks, we've been doing all movie songs tonight, Academy Award theme. 1942. Here is the greatest movie song, most romantic movie song of all time. And it isn't Over the Rainbow, and it isn't Stardust, it's this one. You ready? Can you guess? You can guess it, right? Did you guess? Did you guess? Yes? What do you think? You know it? Are you ready? You must remember this a kiss is just a kiss a sigh is just a sigh the fundamental things apply as time goes by and when two lovers woo they still say I love you on that you can rely No matter what the future brings As time goes by Moonlight and love songs Never out of date Hearts filled with passion Jealousy and hate Woman needs man, and man must have his mate that no one can deny. It's still the same old story, a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes by. What do you say, boys? Filled with passion, jealousy, and hate. Woman needs man, and man must have his mate that no one can deny. It's still the same old story a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes by. Thank you, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, guess what time it is, folks? Mr. Wrestler, it's, it's time for the Charleston. Did you bring your Charleston shoes? No, don't give me that. <laughs> All right, folks, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the Charleston, but in the middle of the song, and Maxwell will help us out, because Miss Brody and had to go. In the middle of the song, I'm gonna give you the cue, and you're gonna make a one uh, aisle right down the center, with your partner on one side, you on the other side, and you're gonna go down 
two by two, sort of like the Virginia Reel or Soul Train. That's the, <laughs> we don't know what that is. It hasn't been invented yet. But right now, just start Charlestoning, fill the Charlestoning, and fill the dance floor. Go ahead. What do you say, boys? It's the Charleston. Everybody dance first. Go ahead. Everybody go, everybody.
Did you enjoy that? Did you like that? Did you like that at home? Woo! Were you all charlesting in your living rooms? Or in your bedrooms? <laughs> all right, we're done. Now we're gonna do... Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Halpern's Hollywood Cavalcade. And now here he is for his final song of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. A little good night song, a little lullaby of Broadway. Bring everybody on that's in the show. Bye. Yes, everyone that's been at the show was invited back onto the stage. Two -bit opera and yes. Michael Sandoval and Michael Adrian. Here he is, Richard Halpern and the lullaby of Broadway. All right. All right, bring back Michael Sandoval and Two Bit Opera. Come on, it's all right. Brad K, come on, you can sing this. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo. Do, 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 do. Come on up. It's okay. Come on up on stage. Come into the light, Carol Ann. Come into the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> Little reference from the future. <laughs> All right. You know the song? Come on along and listen. All right. All right. What do you say? <laughs> Listen to the lullaby of Broadway, the hotty high and whoop de doo, the lullaby of Broadway, the rumble of the subway train, the rattle of the taxis, the daffodils who entertain each Sunday night at Max's. When a Broadway baby says goodnight, it's early in the morning, and that babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. Shabai, I'll buy you this and that You hear a daddy saying The baby goes home to her flat To sleep all day <laughs> The hush of I, old baby round And everything gets crazy hey, what, 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 Everybody <laughs> This is the, 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 the train wreck portion of the show <laughs> was most of the lullaby of Broadway. <laughs> we want to thank everybody. We want to thank Two Bit Opera, Natalie Miller, Ari DeSano, there they are. The beautiful Miss Michael Sandoval. Yes, of course. The, the scintillating Mr. Michael Adrian. And of course, Dante's Inferno. Let's thank them. And now let's let's introduce the band. Let's introduce. Oh, we have a guest star on our trumpet tonight, Mr. Brian Atkinson. Thank you. Hello. And on the drums we have Mr. Larry Wright. Yeah. Yes. And, a, and another guest star on the banjo and the guitar, Mr. Denny Hardwick. Everybody say yeah. 
Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? And on the slapping bass, Mr. Jim Garofalo. Yeah. And the man who puts it all together, our conductor, our resident, your yeah, sweetie pie, what can we say? Mr. <laughs> on the piano, Mr. Randy Walt. Is everybody happy? Thank you, sir. God bless. All right. And of course, let's thank everybody here at Club Cicada. And of course, the man who puts the whole show together, the empresario himself, Mr. Maxwell Damil. Da, da. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard Halper. Thank you, Richard Halpin and your Hollywood Cavalcade. Of course, Mr. Richard Halpin returns April the 29th with another big Hollywood Cavalcade program. You've been watching A Night at the Cicada Club, presented live at Maxwell DeMille Cicada Club, here in the beautiful 1928 Oviatt Building, downtown Los Angeles, California, America's greatest summer playground. Winter playground, spring playground, and fall playground. We've got all the playgrounds you can think of. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Maxwell DeMille wishing you all the best of good luck and good evening.